My name is Hiro Nakamura. I'm from the future and I have a message for you. Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name's Ruben and this is my review for Moving. Now, Moving's a series that you probably haven't heard of unless you are a fan of South Korean drama, K-drama, then you might have this on your radar. However, if not, and you need something different to watch, but you don't mind reading subtitles, then this might be the one for you. Let's jump in. Bong Suk, a boy who could float before he could walk, and Hisu, a girl who survived a horrific car crash, unscathed, end up at the same school. They quickly become close after confiding in each other and soon discover there are more people like them out in the world. If you're in the UK, you will find this on Disney through the hot star kind of accessory, like the add-on that is on Disney UK. Otherwise, you'll probably find it on Hulu. The first seven episodes have dropped today and then subsequent episodes will drop two at a time until we reach the final two episodes, which is uh, number 20. So there's 20 episodes complete. I've seen the first 10 because we had screeners. I have to say, this is surprisingly one of my most interesting series I've seen so far. It's not like we haven't seen a series like this before. It reminds me a lot of the American series Heroes. That was great. We had five seasons of really interesting drama TV. It wasn't just about an X-Men type culture. It wasn't just about people with superpowers it was what the toll took what it takes how you live as that and that's what we get here save the cheerleader save the world but this is in the monks the culture of the south korean uh, culture obviously so we have these kids with superpowers we focus on one kid that is slightly chubby because his mother keeps <laughs> feeding him loads of food because she's trying to keep him grounded literally stop him from floating away he hasn't been able to learn to control his powers and then as the episodes get on we find out there's another couple of kids that have powers as well and that all comes into play with the coming of life story the coming of age the bullying kind of theme that seems to be in a lot of south korean series we get a lot of backdrops like one episode will be dedicated to a character as we find out a lot about them why they are the way they are and how come they've all ended up in this one town so we have this one story about the teens coming to grips with who they are as a person with the powers that they have each unique power comes with its own issues slight help in their powers but mostly just comes with loads of issues <laughs> and things that they have to avoid and things that they can't do you know it's hard enough being a teen except when you get powers like this you wonder who's gonna accept you you call you a freak is the government gonna dissect you all of that comes into play here and then on the other end of the scale, we have the parents' storylines. Those that are also have the heritage of powers, but were either agents or something like that within the government that are now retired. And then we have this lone kind of, they call him the cleaner. This other guy that's taking out people with powers. Very similar to that hero storyline, that arc. You know, there's always one government agent and one superpowered powered person that was the team up in heroes this time around it's just one person going around for the most part mostly uh until later you'll find out that there's a bigger story why the government is involved and what they are actually doing i would say that the acting is really good there's some really good emotional moments <laughs> apart from that bullying episode which will evoke injustice feelings in you and you will feel justified in what happens in that bullying it's how these kids cope with the powers and when you find them starting to find relationships it's so sweet and you're so rooting for them because of the way the actors have portrayed their characters the dialogue they're given the way they're showcasing this torment and turmoil that they're going through but then when and something good happens it just feels like a, a wash of good air coming over you and you're just like ah oh, finally they've been given something good to deal with in their life because a lot of their life has been really tough so you have those two storylines that are interchanging within each other there's always this sense of tenseness in this series because this hunt is going on unbeknownst to the kids so you have this tenseness but you're also rooting for the kids to deal with school life in the best way possible other than that the parents are having to try and protect them without them knowing that they are being protected and so we have this kind of clashing of two generations Maybe parents are being overprotective, that kind of thing, but they don't know why. The violence in this was not something I was expecting. Because it has that superhero-esque feeling and almost that hero-esque feeling. Peter Petrelli. What? You think maybe it won't be as dark. What? 
they're not daring to go as far as they do in this series this wasn't a, i wasn't expecting this so when you get the fight scenes they are well done the choreograph is well done but it's also really brutal the fight sequences here are for people trying to survive and other people trying to kill another. None of that is shied away from. We get to see the brutal hits and the punches, how they use their abilities. The CG doesn't look bad at all. It has a real tangible feeling to it. So the, the powers aren't the showcasing thing here. It's the human that is controlling the powers. They just have a thing. They're slightly different, slightly special. And that really is the big showcase or the theme of this series where you might be different, but you're still struggling with everything that everybody else is struggling with. All of these stories combined really well for great filming with action that is really tense and gory so do be warned. Some really heartfelt emotional scenes that I think you will feel for our characters and you'll be rooting them from pretty much the get-go. Once you understand what this series is about, how it's been filmed, how the flow of the story comes and goes because at one point you'll be with them in their school and another point you'll be seeing the, the backgrounds of the story and then another point you'll be doing like long flashbacks almost whole episodes or half episodes for kind of dealing with the background of a character or what is the history of this child why she's so dark that kind of thing that's how it's wrapped up and i think it does its it does itself justice i can't give a full score because i haven't seen all 20 episodes i will circle back once i've seen all 20. for now this is one of my favorite series of the year so far very entertaining very fun to watch a lot of emotional heartfelt content actors doing a very good job and uh, it's edited well with the score so I think all in all, it's a really great, well-wrapped, well-rounded South Korean K-drama. It might come across one issue. I had two sets of screeners, one from Hulu, uh, and the, the timing of the syncing with the subtitles was really out. And I had to ask for a different set. The Disney ones I got were fine. So I'm wondering, um, if you're watching on Hulu and you're reading the subtitles because you don't understand uh, Korean or South Korean, then let me know if the, the timing is right. However, on Disney, I found that they were perfect. So those ones were fine. There's seven on Disney now, seven on Hulu, and then obviously the two episodes. So let me know what you think. Are you gonna be watching this? Had you even heard of this? I had to dig for this to see it if, if it was even being displayed on the Hulu Disney app. And on the Disney app, it was very hard to find. You had to search for it. It didn't come up as like new this week. It might be changed as people start hearing about it. I do hope that's the case because this is really great. I could stand to watch more in this world. Let me know your thoughts on this uh, series. It's very entertaining. One of my favorite K-dramas of this year for sure. Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.